Here are the 10 coolest special illustration rares from the Scarlet and Violet era. So far, no 151 because that would be the half the Zapto Alec. Is it, black. it would be the whole list. Uh, so we're doing this. And if you're like, oh, this is the 10 best to invest in. And I'm going to flip them and grade them and make six. No, you're not. This is not what that's about. This is the coolest artwork. Number 10, we've got Gold Dango from Paradox Rip. Look at this coin boy. He is swagging, uh, swag, swagging, apostrophe. Uh, listen, I love when cards connect and it rocks with the gimme ghoul. I think the background looks really great. It's like this coin wall uh, and goes off into the black space and it just, it highlights that black outline. Am I a artist major? This cheese string's ready to go. Like, you couldn't have made a cheese string look cooler. The arms cross. It's time to make it rain. That's its big move in the VGC. Uh, the artist, Akira Komayama, smashes this one. They did the uh, Starmy V. Uh, hold on a second. Not to be that guy. Uh, probably my favorite card from Sword and Shield era. I know you probably are going to hate me for this, but I'm a big Zapdos guy. Same artist. So we love we love what this artist is up to. We're going to talk about the artist in this video, too. Should have said that in the intro. Whatever. Um... They also did Larry, and we love Larry. God, do we love Larry. Uh, and they've been drawing since Call of Legends 2011, which is cool. So they've been drawing for like 13 years. Love the Goldango. Uh, number nine, look at this. Blood Moon Ursa Luna. Hold on to your pants. Unique art style. Cool. Ursa's in the background. We got a munchie. We got some cutie flies up top. Look at this blue arrow. This is how you make a PowerPoint. Okay. Terrifying. If you see a Blood Moon or Saluna in public, you're like, that is absolutely terrifying. But this is kind of a different vibe. You're like, okay, it's grabbing honey. You know, it's a softer, it's sort of a family vibe. Uh, and this is important. A day without a friend is like a pot without a single drop of honey left inside. That's from Winnie the Pooh. And that's relevant here, if you think about it. It's uh, very relevant. The artist is Minaminami Take. Uh, they did the Mudsdale Charmander promo, which is cool. Detective Pikachu promo which is cool um i really like this card man it's it's cool there's a lot happening in this this is this is cool twilight masquerade good job iron hands paradox rift coming in at number eight this is who you want on your team when you're a coach and you're like oh, will you guys run through a wall for me yeah he'd look he'll run through six walls for you it's gonna be seven amp you very much i love it okay also iron hands is the best paradox pokemon come at me that's a hot take but i'm gonna stick with it Competitively in a video game, fire. Uh, beautiful coloring, signature style. Style? So style right now from Toshi Nyao Aoki. Uh, they did the Chansey, Alana's Aid. You can sort of see the same style of artwork. The Raichu, which is super cool. Slowpoke Sandy Shocks. Um, very similar art style, but it's cool. They did the Unknown um, alt art. And also, one of my all time favorite cards we were talking about Zapdos earlier from Supreme Victors. Look at this. Come on. And you ready for this booty pack? Look at this booty. Woo! There is little dark Amphros with the tush tush from the OG. So cool thing about this artist too, they had a 19 year, they took a 19 year absence. They were they took a little break. They said, I'm gonna go on vacation. They came back after 19 years, returned with the Executor from Crown Zenith. They're back, baby, and they're a hot right now. I love what they're doing. Came back a couple years ago, and I love what they're doing. So Iron Hands from Paradox Rift, that's a cool card. Very cool card. Number seven, we got another Paradox Raging Bolt uh, Temporal Forces here. Ancient style, okay? Prehistoric dinosaur vibes. Let's go, Jurassic Park. Very unique color palette. Did I sound smart there? Or was that just me? Very unique color palette, okay? Uh, and it shines. The purple lightning, I think, is sick. It's just like the centering of this Pokemon with the detail on the leaves and everything down here. Honestly, man... It all pops to zero uh, with the artwork. They did the Gouging Fire in Walking Wake 2. Do you see here? That makes sense. They did one of the goats of all time, Caterpie from 151. Um, and they also, you're going to like this, they did the Umbreon and Celebi alt art. Very cool. The uh, That's the Pokey Rev Umbreon right there. Also, this little dot on the wall right now is really annoying me. And I, I tried to hang something, but I don't know how, uh, how to hold a hammer. So that's what that is. And you guys are going to have to deal with that for the next 10 minutes. Maybe seven minutes. We're going to try and... Okay, this next one, uh, my, I might regret not putting this at one. <laughs> it's the Pidget, dude, from Obsidian Flames. Look at this thing. It's crisp. Very unique art style. It looks so good. Connecting with Pidgey, uh, Pidgeotto. I have a couple of these in Japanese. Also, this card pops in the Japanese version. Um, the root signs go hard. 
Uh, very cool about the root signs. The root signs go hard. Very cool about it. Uh, Route 18, I believe they've added this in the more recent games. Like Gen 7? Maybe don't quote me on that. But that's where you can catch Pidgeot for the first time. And then I believe the other ones are like 1 and 4 where you can catch Pidgey and Pidgeotto for the first time. Uh, and those signs are up in their cards as well. So it's very cool. Uh, cool little detail. It's just flying at you. The tilted wing looks really nice. Pidgeot's cool, man. Pidgeot's a cool bird, dude. Pidgeot's a cool bird. You guys thought you liked flamingos? cooler just uh and you know what jerky great stuff i don't know how much we'll see of jerky the rest of the way um but i think it's cool they also did tropius luminion v um and that's probably it for jerky right zonk <laughs> jerky's back to back baby topu coco topu coco topu coco Paradox Rift, baby. Unbelievable coloring. This is sort of a... I like this Miami style, too. I, we talked about it in, like, Iron Jugulus, but it's, like, very bright, vibrant. I want this as a T-shirt, man. Put this on as a T-shirt. Electric Terrain. Let's go. Uh, very cool card. It's sharp. It's bright. It's unique. Jerky does it again. This is cool, man. I know there's, like, so much going on with other Pokemon in the background in a lot of these... Uh, but something about just like this off-center Pokemon, bright, vibrant, unique class. Like it just, it's beautiful. It's cool too. It's cool, man. This card's cool. I'm going to hang this card up in my bedroom and you can't do anything about it. So that's Jerky at it again. Jack, jar, Jerky with the six and the five hole. What a list we have so far. Uh, number four, coolest. I love this card. You ready for this? Boom, baby. Galissapod, get at me. Paradox Rift. Not a lot of Shrouded Fable in here, eh? Paradox Rift Galissapod. Whoa. This is going to haunt my underwater dreams. It's underwater, right? Maybe it's not underwater, and it's just like a weird attic. Look at this hole. It's just like, you know it's just about to zoom up, like really creepy, like in a quiet place. They made Galissapod menacing. First time I've said menacing in this video, which is lit of me. This card is so sick, dude. Look at the shading. Like, yeah, like... This is scary, man. This is a cool card. They made Galissapod cool in this. Uh, they also did the King Gambit. Pro, uh, so this is Oku. I don't know if you can read that. Oku. Uh, they did the King Gambit promo. Uh, they did my number one seed on the last video, Sizu, which I uh, just arrived from Japan for me, and it's so sick. The eye like pops in that card. Uh, they also did the Wimpod, which that makes sense. Uh, very cool card. Number four coolest special illustration rare so far from the Scarlet and Violet era. Mouthful number three to you. I will absolutely. Honestly, I almost put this first. And maybe you guys are going to think this is like the 28th. I think this card is so sick. Chiyu also goes hard. Fire goldfish. A little dark in there. It makes a cool clicky noise in the, in the video game. Sun shining down on it. It looks sick. I can't tell. You know what I'm struggling with in the last couple? I can't tell if they're underwater or they're not, and I don't care. Uh, it's got, like, this yellow fire border around the Pokemon. Like, just, it's a very subtle, but it makes it pop and stand out with all these trees. Again, the details on all these leaves and everything looks so cool. When you, like, turn the card back and forth this way, it looks so sick. Um, oh, you want investment advice? Uh, buy it for forty dollars and then in five years it'll be worth forty dollars um it just all looks great akira igawa uh did this they did the gold cards up here uh we talked about akira in uh the last video too so they did the go they did the dundozo that was the card we talked about they like they're so good at drawing this water they're good at drawing underwater animals is what i'm gonna say uh they also did the charizards that aren't on this list uh oh i left charizards off the list there's a spoiler for the next two come at me okay Number two, buckle up. I feel like you guys might know what number two is. I feel like in your head, you're like, that card's going to be number two, but we don't know what number one is going to be. It's Greninja. Ever heard of her? Twilight Masquerade, the splashes of color. Splashes. Splash. Splashes of color. Bold. It took me one second. I was like, ah, no, it's sick. Okay. Uh, it looks great. They also pulled off the Terra, which has been really tough to do in the card game. They've been, it's, they've struggled to pull off the Terra in cards. It works so well in the video game, guys. If you only collect cards and you're not playing the game, the Terra works so good. And competitively, like the Terra is the best mechanic they've added in Pokemon games, in my opinion. It's better than Mega. Uh, just, you can do so much with it defensively, offensively. It's so cool. And it can throw your, the other, I love it. 
it's been hard to translate into the card game, I get. They kind of hid the fighting Terra up above the card. I think this is them re almost really like, eh, it's kind of hard to pull it off, but we, we're committed to it at this point. Um, but it's sitting on this like throne of splashy color. It's arms crossed. It's business. Arms crossed like gold then go. You know what I mean? That's the theme of today's arms crossed, cards up, stonks. Oh, thank God there's another white guy making Pokemon YouTube videos, eh? Okay, but I will say this card is very cool. It's obviously hard to pull. Uh, people are losing their mind over it right now. It looks great. In Japanese, it looks cooler. Mm, there, I said it. Uh, Akagi, it was the art. They did the Kingdra promo, which also goes so hard. Goes so hard. Uh, and I know some people are saying, too, the, the, they like the Greninja promo from Shrouded Fable more than this. So... You can put that. Maybe we'll do a top 10 promo list. Let me know in the comments if you want that. Let me know in the comments um, if you want to e-transfer me $1,000. Very cool. I do have this at number two. Okay, before we get to number one, stick with me, boys and girls and everyone. We got our honorable mentions. This is Ice Q is my least favorite Pokemon of all time. Of all time. More than the ice creams. More than vanilla and, and more than the ice creams. Ice Q, it freaks me out. I don't like it. However, this card, coloring-wise, goes so hard. Negative space? Is that an art term that I just used? I don't even know if I used it, probably. But this is what I'm talking about. This is like what Terra is all about. If you have an ice Pokemon, and you, you know a fire attack's coming in, but you tear it a fire, boom, you just negated it. Now your ice cube's going hard. Like, that's what the Terra should be all about. This is They actually showcase it well here, too. It looks really good. Scalding block, that's a cool name, because it's a block of weird Pokemon, though. Great Tusk. We're looking like it's the the start of Twister three over here. I think the only issue is it's great task and like, you know, it's great task. Uh, Charizard EX. Uh, this is what we were talking about earlier. Like it's very, it is very cool. A dark Charizard. It is very cool, but it's <laughs> they love hiding the Terras up here. Eh, they love hiding the Terras. It's very cool, but it was, like I don't know. We've seen Charizard before. Iron leaves and Iron Crown. Also really nice. Uh, they got some planets in the background. Uh, I don't know. Is that the moon? Is that Uranus? <laughs> 10 out of 10 joke. And then we have Altaria up here. And you know what? I described this card as smooth. Maybe not cool, but smooth. Very smooth card. We got the wingles below. Altaria is just graceful up there. That's a beautiful day. You know it's 24 degrees. Or if you're in America, 87. I don't know what a nice... I don't know, what, I don't know how Fahrenheit works. Uh, beautiful day on the beach. You know what I mean? So Altair is an honorable mention for me. These are honorable mentions. Um, and if I didn't put your favorite on here, I'm sorry. Do you guys know what number one is yet? Ah! Ah! The number one coolest special illustration rare from the Scarlet and Violet era so far. Mew. Mew, baby. What a classic. It's a shiny Mew. I'm down, dude. Look at the bubble. Swaggy. Also, the peripheral. Big word. Pokemon are perfect choices here. Poliwag. Boom. Rattata, Oddish, Diglett. What's the other one? Yeah, Bellsprout. <laughs> Just so you know, I put my camera in a really weird place. I couldn't see Bellsprout for a half second there. What a team. If that's a team of six that you're starting a game with, you're great, dude. I don't know how you're getting to Mew that early, but it, phenomenal. You got everything covered, man. Wow. I love it. Okay, so it's this cool cartoon style uh, by Uzgman. Uzgman. Uh, but it's not like, I feel like it's not a childish. It's just cool, man. It's very cool. And... Here's what adds to the coolness of this card. This is from uh, Paldean Fates. It's the only card that this artist has done so far. But this, uh, this, they've animated for Pokemon for like a Pokemon Day video. But they do a bunch of fan arts on their Instagram and Twitter and stuff. And if you go check out Uzgman, Uzgman, I can't say that on Instagram or what you'll see like uh, like hundreds of Pokemon that they've drawn. So Pokemon eventually was like. Okay, come do a real, real card for us. And this is their first card. This is their only card that they've done. And I think it's so sick. I think it's such a sick card. It's just cool, man. You got a polywag, dude. This is Oddish. Swaggy. Okay, so those are the 10 coolest special illustration words from the Scarlet Violet era. Let me know in the comments what you think of the list. Uh, let me know what your number one seed is. And again, I don't care. Stop making investment Pokemon videos. If you get one thing out of this, stop making investment Pokemon videos.